President Biden looking to turn the page from his debate performance with the kickoff of the NATO summit in Washington, D.C., but some are still questioning whether he should stay in the race. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump appears close to naming his vice presidential candidate. Skylar Henry has more from the White House. President Biden is hosting the NATO summit in Washington, D.C., and even the world leaders in town for the event are facing questions about the president's health. Mr. President, do you have any uh, concerns about Biden's age or mental acuity? Good to see everyone here this morning. Looking forward to a great meeting with this uh, distinguished group of senators. The president will try to shift focus away from his debate performance and back onto global concerns, such as the war in Ukraine. As we have said that NATO's future I'm sorry, that Ukraine's future is in NATO. Here at home, the president appears to have done enough to stop most members of his own party from calling from him to step aside and let another Democrat take over and take on former President Trump. I think at this point, it, it is, you know, it's a foregone conclusion. The president's going to run and we're going to support him. Former President Trump, who hasn't appeared in public since the day after the debate, told Fox News Hannity that he too thinks Biden will stay in the race. It looks to me like he may very well stay in. He's got an ego and he doesn't want to quit. Trump is reportedly close to naming a running mate with North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, the apparent leading candidates. He will likely announce his pick before next week's Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.